Hi, I'm Gabriel Castro. Thank you for checking out my video. Please check out my new Facebook page, Gilded Age Pens. And in this series of videos, we're going to be making a bespoke pen, starting with a bespoke pen clip. I'm going to be using a mini drill press and a jig, several jigs that I'm using on the drill press to make the clip out of the 50 caliber round. Stay tuned. So this jig works pretty good, just like uh, you would expect it to work. The mill, it pulls forward and back, and we'll go left to right, or a combination of the both at the same time. The only downside is the drill press has a top speed of 3100 RPM, and I've got like a 10 millimeter uh, shank in here, um, metal milling shank. So that works pretty good considering I'm only doing uh, or using soft material in here, brass. The other jig I use, this is what holds the half of the 50 caliber shell. And this is just made with some scrap walnut and a piece of a 5 8 inch oak dowel. I just cut down and I just milled through that in order to fit. And you see how all that works later. So you can see I really uh, spared no expense on this jig. Okay, this video, I want to check how much drift there is or play in the table from uh, when you clamp this down here with the clamp on the back, on the back. And you can see I've got a little bit of a gap here at the bottom of a dial indicator. It's got a magnetic uh, clamp on it. Let me turn that sideways here so you can see that. And it's hooked up with a magnet here. And then when I tighten this up, uh, you'll see how much this will move. Let me, let me raise this up first where that touches oh there we go just starting to touch right there it's at zero okay, let me just back that back to zero just to be sure we're okay and okay I'm gonna tighten this up So that's fully tight, no play in that whatsoever. And it looks like that's almost uh, 30 thousandths right there of play. So that's how much I'm gonna have to subtract when I raise this up from when I cut my part that I need to cut over here. This is a 59 and a half inch metal cutting blade I'm going to put on my Delta mini bench top bandsaw okay I got the blade changed out and like the other uh, bespoke pen clip video that I made um, instead of using the Dremel with the wheels uh, those cutoff wheels were kind of expensive I just figured I'd switch to a metal cutting blade. And then this is what the shell looks like on the inside. If you haven't seen the other video, that's actually pretty thick. So the pen clip that I made is kind of like this before I bent it up. This was uh, another, this was the other half of this here. And you can see that it's that long and um, how it looks. So I've just got a rough outline on this part of this shell, and you can see that's the 50 caliber shell. And I'll compare that with this one. So you can see that that's the same size and, and length. So I know on the inside here, it's really thick going by this. And that way there's less machining me for, for, for to cut. So I go about an eighth of an inch below Below here, which is that line, 
that line right there. And um, I can cut the back off. And then on the tip wise, if you look at the tip from, a, from the same one here, this tip goes in about like that. So as long as I cut about halfway from that neck, uh, I don't have to work that loose with a pair of pliers. And you can see that this is a dummy round by the hole on the side. They're all drilled out. And I bought these in my local military surplus store in Hesperia, California, where I live in Victorville, California. Uh, I bought three of them. I think there was one left, and they're 10 bucks each. So anyway, I got my safety glasses on. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this part off here first. So that's a good cut right there. And you can see what that looks like on the inside. And then, like I said, I'm going to cut down an eighth of an inch. So I'm just going to eyeball that one and then just rotate it as I cut it. So that's 10 bucks right there. You can see it's really thin right there versus on the back side that's still pretty thick and I need that I'm gonna hollow that down quite a bit but there's just a little bit of rim on the inside so the next step will be to take it to the uh, drill press to hollow that out so this is the inside of the shell you see the outside I've got a couple of pencil lines right there roughly you can see it but on the inside you can see a little bit better so I'm just going to hog those out on the bandsaw. Oops. So this is the inside of the 50 caliber cartridge. You can see the lead lines that I have marked right there. I'm going to cut those off on the bandsaw. On the outside you can barely see it. But from the inside is the way I'm going to cut it because I'm going to cut it uh, the outside down so that it rides across the the bandsaw. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> 